Hello everyone. This is the official tutorial for Scrapstorm. This lesson will show you how to set page type and paging. Let's get started. First, we open the software and open a smart mode task. Smart mode defaults to identifying pages by list page. The recognition results are identified by a green dashed box, and the elements in the list are identified by a red dashed box. This is the page type setting. If you enter a URL of a detail page, you need to manually change the page type to detail page. For example, this is a detail page whose page type is detail page. Sometimes, automatic recognition fails due to web page loading speed and other reasons. At this point, we only need to click Auto Detect once the page is loaded. If the list is still not recognized, or the list recognition result needs to be modified, we can do this by manually selecting the list. Step 1. Click Select in Page. Step 2. Click a list element in the page. Step 3. Click another similar list element in the page. In this way, we have identified this new list. Let's demonstrate it again. We can also locate list elements by editing XPath. This is the paging setting. There are three types, page button, scroll to load, and none. There are many types of page buttons, but the system usually recognizes them automatically. And after the page button is recognized, it scrolls to the page button position and is identified by a red box. If the automatic recognition fails, because of the loading speed of the web page, we can try again. When the page button cannot be automatically recognized, we can manually select in page. Step 1. Click Select in page. Step 2. Click the page button on the page. In addition, we can also locate the page button by editing XPath. The software will try to scroll the page when it automatically recognizes the page button. Therefore, scroll to load can usually be recognized automatically. But if the page button appears after scrolling, and the number of scrolls needed for the current page exceeds the number of automatic scrolls for the software. The software will not recognize the page button. At this point, we need to manually scroll the page to display the page button. Then, click Auto Detect again or manually select in page. None is generally used for detailed page scraping or for pages with paging buttons but you only want to scrape the current page. If you don't set it to none, the software will automatically turn page and scrape a lot of content you don't need. The options in paging settings are selected by clicking once. When there is only one option, you can switch paging settings by clicking different options. When there are two options, click the selected option to cancel the option. If you want to change the page type and paging settings, we recommend that you first change the page type and then change the page settings. That's all for today. Thank you.